that we as people just once again how the fuck we condone this shit what's poppin fam it's your boy jay sama and today it's another episode of Canon Culture, you know, the show where we sit down, talk about some entertainment commentary, and I give a little bit of my opinion and a life lesson if we get time, if we have time to do it. So, uh, today we are talking about one topic and one topic only. Now, there are many things that we could have talked about, there are many things that we should have talked about, this Pusha T, Drake beef, but I just felt like that came and gone, and it went, and I had absolutely nothing to say about it because I already knew what was going to go down. So... We're talking about Kanye West again, and oh man, oh man, oh man. The reason why we're talking about Kanye West today is because some of y'all just don't, I just don't get it. The debate has been raised, um, should we support Kanye West even after his Trump comments and even after his slavery comments? Um, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I already have a specific way that I feel about this and I already have an idea in which why other people feel the way that they do. So let me present the argument. Are we able to separate an artist from the things that they say and the things that they do? Are we able to separate their music from their personal beliefs and things like that? And with that said, I think you can. I think most people do. I think most people don't do it out of just them doing it on purpose. I think they do it by accident. I think most people just don't know. Just, they just don't know, don't care, because as long as they hear good music, they don't really care. Kanye could have killed an entire, well, maybe not killed an entire orphanage, but Kanye could have said literally any type of shenanigans that he wanted to, and then all of a sudden just be okay because he put out some good music. So I, I personally don't think that's cool. I don't think that's just, out of all of the like backlash and outrage I was seeing all over the net about boycott Kanye, Kanye is canceled party, this, that, and the other thing, hundreds and hundreds of tweets. Yet this week, his album jumped to number one, like with streaming and everything. And I'm just so confused and I don't understand how we as a people, just we as a community, I mean, given it's worldwide, so globally, just all over the place, we were just like, yeah, no, we don't fuck with Kanye. Then he drops an album and all of a sudden we still fuck with Kanye. Like, why is this? I'm, I'm not understanding. Like, did we just, not, was the line not drawn when we said Kanye is canceled? Like, did we just not, like, I'm confused. Somebody please explain it to me because Kanye is still canceled to me. I love Kanye. I love his music. I haven't, I have not listened to a single song off this entire album. I have not looked at a single track. I haven't looked at nothing. I haven't been curious to do it because at a certain point, I feel disrespected as a human being. I feel disrespected as a black man. And I definitely, definitely feel disrespected as a fan of Kanye West. Now, can I separate that from the actual music? I don't want to. I don't want to. If somebody says something crazy about my mother, but then all of a sudden puts out a movie and I hear it's amazing, I'm not going to see this fucking movie. Fuck you. I don't support you and I don't support the things you do. You may be a great artist. You may be a great director, producer, actor, whatever the fuck you are. I'm still not going to support you because I don't think you should win. Therefore, I'm not going to go and spend my time nor my money, time being way more important to me than money, I'm not going to spend my time on whatever it is that you put out just because of my personal beliefs. And like, it's one thing if somebody's personal beliefs doesn't match up with yours. Like, I have tons of friends that are just like, hey, Trump's not that bad. You know, like some things he does, this is okay. Like, I'm going to let this pass. That doesn't mean I'm going to label these people racist, bigots, assholes, none of this stuff. Like, we just have different opinions. Okay, that's cool. Now, if this person murdered an entire orphanage or something, or, you know, they steal from orphans, or every time you go to Starbucks, they're, they'll, they're one of those people that pretend to put a dollar in, but then they take $5 out. Yeah, one of those people. I'm not supporting you, bro. I'm not, I can't support that lifestyle. Just because you're an up and coming artist or just because you, you make dope shit and I was a fan of yours for like for a cool minute, and this is my friend I'm talking about. 
I can't, I can't support, I can't support, I can't condone none of this. Cause then all that really does is justify the stuff that you do as a person. Well, I mean, hey, I can do whatever I want. I'm making dope art. I'm making all this stuff that people support, that people love. So I'm just gonna keep doing this thing. No, 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 no. And this is my friend I'm talking about. Kanye West is not my friend. Okay, I don't personally know this guy. So therefore, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna support a man who decided to say that slavery was a choice. Now I given, now given at this point, it is taken now out of context because he had plenty of time to explain that Charlemagne interview, the interview with Van, all of the other stuff that happened, I already knew. So if you guys missed that video, the Kanye West video is down there's a link in the description. You guys can go and check out my first video on it. So for the fact for this man to say the things that he said and then renege on it and kind of like, like uh, let me go back on that, you know, doesn't change the fact that you said it. Doesn't change the fact that, that the energy that you put out there, you still felt this way. So therefore, as a consequence, I am not streaming your music. I am not listening to your music. I am not buying your albums. I am not going to your shows. That is just the way that I feel about it. And then any of my friends that ask me about it, I don't support it. I don't support it. And I don't support it. No, you shouldn't go. Hey man, do you want to go to this show? I'm not going. Is Kanye going to be there? I'm not going. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. It's just beyond, it's just beyond me. Now, once again, let me reiterate. It is not the fact that this man has different views than me. It is complete, for, completely for the fact that you built this image that I believed in. And then you tore that image down and you put up a statue in its place that basically said, fuck you as a fan. That is, that is how I personally feel about it. And I can't support that energy. I can't support that logic. I just can't support any of that. And which is crazy to me, the amount of people that actually have. Now, what I really want to kind of throw shade at a little bit is all of the people that said some wild things about Kanye West, yet still, when they were invited to fly out to Wyoming to listen to this man's album before the release, and they went to his listening party, and they were just like, yeah, this was dope, this is Kanye, yeah, this is dope. Not nobody there had an issue with the shit that Kanye was saying. Literally, not even three weeks ago, celebrities and all sorts of people did not have the same consistent energy being applied towards Kanye West. I'm just baffled that we as people just once again, how the fuck we condone this shit? I just don't even know. I just don't even know, fam. So that I, I have not had a chance to listen to it once again, and I, I don't plan on it. Now, if some, if one of my friends is playing it in the car or something, first of all, you're not going to be in my car picking songs for yourself that's that's what we not for to do okay because my car doesn't operate like that you get in my vehicle you listen to my music we are listening to lo-fi hip-hop and migos on repeat constantly my boy constantly all right there is absolutely no way on god's green earth that i'm gonna let you change my stations in my car i don't care who you is it don't matter to me i don't care if you put in on gas i don't care if you put in on this oil change it don't fucking matter you either gonna like what i play or you can get out and you can walk fam i'm just saying so anyway <laughs> i just don't think Actually, to be honest with you guys, I just don't think people think at all. I honestly believe that a majority, like a lot of people, just in general, are just dumb. And I don't mean to say that like your opinions or the or not like just not supporting Kanye or anything is dumb. I'm just saying a lot of people usually will just follow a bandwagon and just be down with something and they don't think for themselves. So they're not the free thinkers that they would like to be or the people that they think they are or the free thinkers that they think they are. I'm just confused. It's 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 like my buddy Rincho, Rincho says, once you get somebody on that mob mentality, you're kind of stuck. They're not going anywhere. Their opinion's not gonna change. And there's no amount of like reasoning that you can do with these mob mentality people because they're just gonna go wherever the weight is. Wherever the scale tips, that's the side that they're going to be on. And it just makes total sense. They don't wanna be on a losing side and they don't wanna be the opposition. But unfortunately, in order to be a free thinker, sometimes you just think differently than other people. That's just the way it is. And also, in regards to being a free thinker, 
you ain't got it. Just, just following other people's lead is just ridiculous because sometimes you, you should think outside the box. Like when somebody says they have a specific opinion, I would think as a free thinker, let me question that. Why do you feel this way? I'm not saying I disagree, but why do you feel this way? Tell me, I want to know. Okay, that's interesting. Now this other person feels a completely different way about the same subject. Why do you feel this way? Okay, that's cool. I just wanted to understand. Now when I choose sides, I have all of the necessary information to make a decision. Therefore, support Kanye? Don't support Kanye. Which one do you want? Well, this supporting Kanye would support the fact that this man, is, he just idolizes Donald Trump, which, is there anything about Donald Trump that we like? Not fucking really. So uh, I'm just, I can't get behind that. I can't get behind that one. But then there's the don't support Donald Trump. There, there's the don't support Kanye camp, which doesn't support hardly anything, but it also, you don't get to listen to the album. So, uh, uh, I don't, I don't know which, uh, which, which side has more people. Which side is louder? Okay, so black Twitter is going with, we're supporting Kanye now? Is this is this what, this what we're doing? Woke, woke Twitter is going with, don't support Kanye though. I don't know, black Twitter, woke Twitter. I, I don't know who to choose. Can I just be in the middle? Can I just listen to like John Legend and just be in the middle, please? Thank you. So, you know, I just think it's this situation where people don't think for themselves, unfortunately. So if you are somebody who does, I mean, great, I'm proud of you, that is awesome. But man, I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this Kanye album because I most certainly will not be doing that. Now, if you guys are, or if you guys are not supporting Kanye West, please let me know down in the comment section. I really wanna know like, what are you guys' thoughts on it? Let's have a conversation, let's have a discussion. I might even pick a couple of the comments and stuff, cause some of you guys be leaving these paragraph long comments and shit. So I might even answer a couple of these and then make a video out of it and we'll address it. We'll make it a, a community thing. We'll actually talk about it, but let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comments section, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about today's lesson. I think it's pretty apparent that today's lesson is obviously be a free thinker. If you would like to support what your friends support, that's great and everything, but are you really making the, you, sometimes you got a question. I'm not saying you have to, but sometimes you have to, okay, sometimes. Uh, is, is, it, is it safe to say that, you know, maybe like 60, 70% of the time you just think for yourself, maybe? I don't know, just a question. So <laughs> essentially, it, are you picking something or a side or a thing because your friends are picking it or because you actually genuinely believe in whatever this thing is? It's almost like having friends who play on PlayStation compared to friends that play on Xbox, okay? Me as a PC player, I don't have none of these issues. You know why? Because I can neither afford Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. So therefore, I go with what I don't have to pay for. Plus, my games are always in 60 frames, unless I fuck something up, which is usually my fault. It's not the game's fault, usually, unless you're playing a broke-ass piece of shit game. But then you would know it was a broke-ass piece of shit game, because everybody's saying it's a broke-ass piece of shit game, because that's just how the PC community works. Anyway, without having to dive too much into gaming stuff, that's just essentially how I feel about it. So if you want to take the time and listen to Kanye's album, more power to you. If you don't, more power to you. I personally will not be indulging in said fuckery. This has been your boy Just Jay Sama. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hit that like button and I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon. Oh.